All right, everyone, as we continue into this morning, a good toasty Tuesday to you. It's going to be another First Alert weather day. I'm WIS First Alert meteorologist Tony Shivaroli. I want to make sure everyone is continuing to really be safe and be smart about a lot of these days because of uh, what we're going to be seeing and what we're going to be settling in with. And again, it's going to be more about how high temperatures are going to be making this push into a range of really upper 90s and the heat index is going to be getting to values in those mid lower 100. So, you know, getting towards 104 to 107. So as we basically work to settle in with that, we're going to continue to first alert you forward, get you prepped and ready for this week. And one thing I want to make sure I'm really stressing right now if you're watching, of course, you're catching this. We are going to be seeing our first alert weather days end on Wednesday. We're still going to be very hot on Thursday, but we can't keep these going throughout the week. Or we could have literally first alert weather days throughout the entirety of the week. We want to make sure, you know, we're acknowledging that folks are getting acclimated now. We're eventually going to see a little more cloud cover and a few more storm chances into your Thursday. So finally starting to see a little step back in that heat. And at that first little instance is where we want to end things here. So let's take a check of that graphic right now just to show you a little bit more of that range of what we're going to be seeing. And it's going to be once more between today and tomorrow tomorrow that heat index potential what we're going to be seeing in that way of mid 100s so as we focus on that for you guys we're going to be continuing to see and go through these motions of more of those temperatures popping up so let's uh, of course uh, see if we can get that graphic up right there i want to uh, begin more of how we see it and it will be yes a good average will be 105 okay today and tomorrow all of this works its way forward. We're going to be seeing it again, likely on Thursday on the lower end of the spectrum. But I'm telling you, there'll be a little bit of a change just because of what we can see with that sun getting blocked out a little bit more and a little bit better of a chance of rain. Otherwise, I don't have many changes for you this week because of how aggressive this pattern is. Very above average. You can typically see it later into July. Obviously, we know how it is here in South Carolina, but it's not going to be something we see in a great level of consistency. I mean, if I recall correctly, last year, June was pretty comfortable. You know, we saw a few days getting into the low 90s, but we definitely didn't see this last year. But now we are seeing it earlier. June was pretty comfortable, as uh, if memory serves me correctly. And now we're really feeling like we're later into summer. It's hot. It's humid. That sun is hazy. Everything's setting up appropriately to get us into this, you know, first alert weather day status earlier, where typically we'll set a threshold around 105 for June, but then once we get into July and the rest of August, you know, we set it back to 110 because that's where we're going to be seeing more of these impacts of the heat actually resulting in heat advisories and such from the National Weather Service. But this is still something, you know, that not everyone has gotten really, you know, accustomed to yet. The summer is still just getting going. So when feel like temperatures are near 105 for such a consistent stream of days and we're still not at the end of June yet, you know, it's impressive. It really is with the, all those little spotty storm chances out there. We don't see much to give us a break from this heat, but Mother Nature is going to be trying her best later this week. Let's see how things work to go into these next two days between today and tomorrow. Exceptionally simple. It's hot. It is humid. You feel it out there. You've known it, and this is just something we need to keep preparing for. Both days, upper 90s into our high temperatures for the afternoon with that feel-like temp near 105 not going to be much of any changes everything pretty consistent you just got to make sure you are continuing to watch out for that heat and just you know keep eyes in the sky later in the afternoon you could see a couple little stray strikes of lightning if we do get a couple storms to pan out but a lot of you the majority of the region will stay dry over the next couple of days then into thursday we start out the morning leaving a little bit muggier so you might be feeling that out there saying okay it is starting to get even more humid. Is it going to be really uncomfortable today? In shorts, yes, it still can be uncomfortable late into it. It's still going to be a heat index in the triple digits, but starting to get a little more cloud cover to try and block out some of that sun. And that'll provide at least a little bit of relief, especially if a little bit more of this rain potential comes together, which I really hope it does. We need this cold front to be as strong as it can. Overall, it's going to be a weak cold front. I'll tell you that right now. It's not cooling off the region, but I'm hoping it could at least give us you know, enough of activity once it starts to pass through to uh, help to knock back these temperatures a little bit. So uh, I'm still going 97 now on Thursday. From what I've been seeing personally, it was looking to be closer to 94, 95 earlier this week, but there's just gonna be just enough sun out there to still get past those mid 90s to almost a range of upper 90s and that humidity is still gonna be there. So today and Wednesday, more of a heat index 105, 106, degree shy of that perhaps on Thursday, but 
Th that'll be it. It's still going to be very, very hot. I'm just hoping as this week continues along, folks are getting more accustomed to what we've been seeing and what we've been talking about, making sure you're staying safe from all these temperatures, protecting your fellow people around you, your pets, bringing them in, making sure they're staying safe from the heat. And that's just going to be something you need to do even into next week. But obviously you can see through this upcoming weekend, the heat does not want to quit. It's something you have to continue to take serious, famously hot here in Columbia, South Carolina, and uh, obviously the rest of the Midlands as well. So we get you ready for all of this as uh, you have been, hopefully, for the past couple of days, continue to uh, keep up with all your sun and heat safety as you make a move forward. We got what's new this morning coming up for any news updates you need on this live stream, as always, right around 9 o'clock. So hope you'll stay tuned. Always appreciate you checking on this information and as we continue to first alert you, not just on TV, but you know a variety of platforms, trying to go through a little bit more of these efforts so we can reach you guys if you have to be on the go. Thanks again. Make it a great day.